Let's talk about the match. Let's talk about single players and let's talk about what I think is missing to this young AC Milan. First, let's start talking about what it, about the match. Oh! I have to let it go out, let it go out, 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 out. What the hell, man? What the hell? It was a terrible match from Milan, ladies and gentlemen. What is make me so nervous about most of it is that there was the entire world of football watching the match. And they saw that in the first 11 minutes, Milan didn't understand absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Congratulations to, to Inter because they were like quite cynical, absolutely good, but uh, we were panicking. I literally saw Giroud doing, calm, calm everyone down, calm everyone down, because after the first 13 minutes, I don't even recall, uh, they, they scored two goals right away, and uh, the defense of Milan was in panic, completely in panic. The choreography was awesome, the stadium was full, the tension played the wrong thing in, in us. Played the wrong uh, game in, in the young AC Milan players and they messed it up completely on the first 15 minutes. Every single time at least and also on the first half, Inter was coming, Inter was attacking. We were getting wet our pants every single time. Something was about to happen. I think Charnoglu hit the post. Uh, ma miracle of Mike Magnan, uh, a penalty rightly not given, but there was a potential penalty. Man, it was terrible. It was a terrible, terrible first half. Second half, also, let's say also that we were not really lucky because Benasser, our midfield brain, got injured and his season is over. It's over, it's official, it's the news from a few minutes ago. Um, second half, yeah, we did better and um, I don't want to hear anybody saying oh, but Milan actually played really well in the second half. It doesn't matter because Inzaghi, as an Inter coach, as a football coach, he knows that you are winning the semi-final of Champions League 2-0 there is no meaning to rush to score another one. Just do a good counter-attack, defending well, and see what's going to happen. Um, so that, that's what's happened. Milan uh, only hit the, the, the post with Sandro Tonali. A good occasion with Messia. Other than that, nothing, nothing, nothing much. Uh, Inter deserved the victory, okay? Inter uh, deserved the victory. But now let me talk a little bit about what I think about this uh, this match. First of all, the first goal, man, you cannot put Calabria to defend Dzeko. You cannot put Calabria to defend Dzeko. Um, I don't know who decide who's gonna who's gonna look after each other, who's gonna who's gonna protect who. But uh, the Calabria, one meter seventy five, I think he cannot defend against Jaco, which is 195 and this is super basic this is super basic number one number two um the uh, what's the name the, the 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 strategy of inter it was very clear cynical counter-attack and uh, Kier, he didn't understand absolutely nothing. They were all fast players against Kier that was very very slow and I think we got a little bit more stable when Chao came in Calabria didn't do one right pass in the first 30 minutes. 30 minutes, Calabria and the defense didn't understand absolutely nothing. Salimaker is not Leao. Uh, and we, guys, I have to say that we played with Krunic, Calabria, Salimakers, Messias in a semi final of Champions League. That's already telling you something. That's what is, I truly believe that is what is missing to AC Milan. AC Milan is missing a good second line of players, okay? Uh, I think he, I think the first line of player, whenever is, everyone is fit, um, Benasser, Leao, even Giroud, and the defend, when, uh, when we have our first 11, good. I think we are on the top 10, maybe top 8 of Europe, yes, I, I agree with you. That's it. The second line is not even, probably, the quality is not even qualifying for Champions League. We had a test against Empoli, against Salernitana, against uh, Cremonese on the weekend. Nothing. The second line of AC Milan is not value even 
to enter inside Champions, Champions League. So this is the real difference in between Milan and Inter. Okay, because Inter is already in the project of Champions League two or three years ahead of us. We are the second year in Champions League after the banter area. Okay, so our second line, no, not good enough, not good enough, not good enough, uh, frustrating. I cannot believe that some people say uh, put Pioli out. Who are you going to play Pioli out? Who are you going to play? You got Krunic, you got Messias, you got Salemakers. And you're playing the semi-final of Champions League. Is that Pioli the problem? Or is who gave the Pioli the right tool? I honestly believe that... I don't know what's going to happen now in the second leg on the semi-final, especially without Benacer. Hopefully, Leao can come back. Whatever is going to happen, I believe that, you know, uh, we have to do the match when, we, when we're going to play on the second leg. Hopefully, some magic, some miracle, it is going to happen. If it's not going to happen, what I'll say is let's try to focus as much as possible to make sure that we qualify for Champions League next year because that means already we're doing something incredible again uh, to qualify for the Champions League. We're going to be in the top four. We're going to we reach the semi-final of Champions League. Let's do a good Mercato, as Paolo Maldini said. Let's get done the renewal of Rafa Leao, which is incredibly important because that means the backbone champions of Italy and semi-finalists of Champions League this year. Kalulu, Ficayo Tomori, Teo Hernandez, Mike Magnan, Benasser, Tonali and Rafa Leao, they're going to be all um, renewed for the next few years, which is... it's it's it, it's, it's a fantastic news, guys. That means no matter what's going to happen this year, we're still there. And I want to give the keys to this team to Stefano Pioli. No other coach. I want to him again. There is not much he can do. All right? Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what do you think about this match. Let me know what do you think about the comments that I just made about Milan, what we need, what we don't need, and so on. Because... I'm suffering like you right now, guys. I know you have all different ideas, but I'm suffering so hard. So please, guys, let me know what do you think. And put a big like to this video. Forza Milan always and Inter 